Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday, BOC day, 20 Jan. A little bit busy this morning, uh, so the video is coming out slightly late. Dollar weakening after yelling yesterday. Stocks are higher. Um, this is the correlation: higher stocks, weaker dollar. So where are we looking today? Obviously, dollar max would be nice um, if North America was in, but here we are at the range lows. This should be interesting down here, 1960. Keep an eye on that. Euro still in the middle of nowhere, so we can't really get a grip on this. Cable, though, inching closer to 137.10, which is the range highs. Is Euro sterling? Uh, Going to pop the cherry. We still, uh, we're still virgins here. 88.60 untouched. We're gonna, we're gonna give this virgin a touch here. Uh, 88.60. I don't know. Virgins are notoriously unamusing. Um, in my, uh, historically speaking, it's been, it's been a good 30 years. Uh, so maybe things have changed, but um, 88.60, interesting, interesting level. Just patiently waiting for that, for that to go. Dollar yen not doing too, too much. Euro yen also up yesterday, but middle of nowhere. Aussie flew through 23 overnight. Triple top here on the hourlies. Again, though, just back into the middle of nowhere. What are we going to do? We're going to take our cues from two things. The yields here, which are not doing too much. You see, this is the 10-year yield. It's just consolidating. Uh, and this is the 30-year yield, also consolidating, but above this key 175 level. Let's put it on the dailies. You can see it a little bit better. It's not really doing a whole heck of a lot, uh, deciding which way it wants to go. Second thing we're going to key on is um, stocks. Stocks look not doing too much really, but higher, so a little bit bid, um, which is why we're getting this dollar sale. A little bit skeptical here with all this tax raising talk from from Yellen and the excitement to regulate corporations from from the left. Yay, regulation. Go, go, go. Um, I'd have no problem with regulation if they just if it was just sensible regulation, right? Uh, and then the problem with anything that happens in Congress is the pork that gets attached to it. So this is a bit of a worry. Um, anyway, gold. She looks like she's turned now. We'll get a real, we'll get a clear assessment on that at 1864. Uh, she's in the middle of the recent range after probing the lows in Asia last night. 50 bucks higher. Again, this is just people reacting to Yellen, basically. Um, the global macro playbook is dollar lower under these sort of conditions. Um, how the market is positioned. I think we might be a little squarer than we were. We'll have to see. Um, you know, it's a one day at a time here. Uh, on the tactical book, we will have to see. 1864 uh, should be some clear air above there. Bitcoin, not doing much. Dead smack in the middle of the 30,000, 40,000 range. When she's at 38, she looks bid. When she's at 32, she looks offered. Um, tricky. I mean, if you can range trade this between 30,000 and 40,000, you're a magician, um, and uh, you're also probably a liar. Crude. This stung us a bit. We were short. Um, just easing up with this sort of weaker dollar theme. 48 to high. Uh, back at 43 here. We'll have to see if this holds. You know, we're just, everything kind of is related to stocks. So stocks, 
easing a little bit higher, so crude higher, dollar lower. So we're just kind of watching the stock market here as our cue. And then we'll see what's lagging um, and see what's not. BOC today, don't think they're going to do much. Probably leave rates the same, 25. I don't think they're going to change QE. Obviously, um, crude and the whole commodity sector is doing pretty well. So this is usually pretty good for CAD. Um, might be a non-event today, BOC. Don't really see much happening there. As you can see, the low of the range here, 126.26. The high of the range here, 128. Um, we're bed smack in the middle at 127, so not much to do. Dollar Max, best chart out there. Uh, 1960 is interesting. Still watching Dollar Swiss. Uh, if the dollar turns back higher, up through um, 89.25. The rest of it looks like mush. All right, I got to hop. Good luck out there, people. Ciao.